Howdy from Good Hope Equestrian Regenerative Farm. This morning I'm going to be doing something kind of different. I am in the local Beekeepers Association. That's the Halifax County Beekeepers Association. And I've met some wonderful people in that group. And today I'm going to be helping a local couple named Don and Dean who have their own apiary and sell honey and nukes and queens and they're very knowledgeable bee folks. And uh, they're going to be doing a cutout in a garage today which is where the bees have built a hive behind the wall and we're going to have to cut out the drywall and get, get the bees out of there. So it's going to be something new and interesting for me and I'm going to learn from Don and Dean and I'm excited about it. So I'm going to take you guys along for the ride on this bee cutout. Well, we've got, we've got a swarm inside this garage. Possibly may have three of them. But we're going to take this, this OSB off and hopefully they're right behind here. Looks like we're there and they're not up. So we're going to take this off to start with. All right. We're about 12 miles from the farm, guys, so not far, but we got our work cut out for us. There's possibly three hives in here. Here's what the bees have done inside the wall, y'all. Looks like they go up higher than what we've cut out. We're gonna work these first. Okay. Get rid of these. Then we're gonna go from there. Gotcha. All new cone right here. Yeah, that looks very fresh. And, uh, I think what we're gonna do, I need to get my other, other little box. It's got my holes in it. Okay. Man, it's pretty cold. The box with the hose in it, you said? Yeah, the little gray box. No, the, it's, a, it's a super is what it is. Sorry, we'll bump him in a, in a hive. Okay. Okay. I think I see what I need to do. That off. Yeah. Oh, oh, we 
steady, I'm gonna be fine. reason we don't work over water. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for. Now do you need some sugar water to squirt them things down with? Or would that help? It might. I done sucked a bunch of them in it. Vacuum. Yeah. You know I hate that. Huh? You know how I hate that. Alright, I need my butcher knife. Where's my butcher knife? She's got here you go. Hang on to that. Good boy. All I'm seeing is honey. I'm not seeing no brew. Yeah, I noticed that. Happens. Well, they may have just went in there. They just went in there while that bruised. That's a lot of cool. Here you go, baby. See if you see any eggs in there. Wait a minute. Is that pollen? Yeah, pollen. Pollen and honey. No, but you know what? No, I don't. We could take this and put it in those little bitty nook things. That's all right. I don't have some way to save it. Give me a frame. I have to I put them in no, frames. No, we ain't putting it in the frame to save it for that. Well, because them frames turn, won't turn, fit turn, in that turn, other. Turn. Lay it flat. Lay exactly. it flat the other way. Here, you do what you see what you want to do. Now, there's, there's a little bit of brood right here. That ain't number one. Right, get closer. Wax and honey on that. And that's All right. We got brood. Just wax and honey. Yeah. 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 I got to figure out some way to tie this mess with these gloves on. Let her shoot a little real quick there now. Bump him in there high when she gets through. Okay. I'm going to have to get me some. Well, oh, the gloves. Them. I cannot do nothing with these gloves. Yeah. Just go ahead and bump them in that uh, box over there. Hey, look. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got that one there. Don't, I don't believe we've got much brew. Just bump the bees in there. This box here? Yeah. There you go. And we'll just lay that to the side. And hand me that off. Uh, yeah, hand me that frame. Let's see. A lot of people use rubber bands. Uh -huh. But the rubber bands, when you put that cone in there, they stretch. Uh -huh. So we do it, we web it one side, staple it, make a platform, and then what I'll do, I'll get me a, that slab will fit right in there, all right, hold that. Yes, I got, wait a minute, Don, I got to tie me a string on it first. Oh, okay. I tried to tell you that. Okay. I got to get these You need me to pull them over you? You got them. I got them. They all don't right. come off. See, what we do, we'll put the, uh, <laughs> wrap it up in your string. get tied up, ain't you? Yeah. Rubber band is easier, mm -hmm. but like I said, it stretches once you put all that weight. If you got a frame full of uh, cow brood uh -huh. and a bunch of bees on it, right. you know how heavy they are. Yeah. They're, they'll stretch okay. out. All right. All right, you ready? All, all right, let me cut this one. Let me 
It's going to fit in there? I think so. Oh, shoot. Don. I'm good. I'm good. I got my suit on. That's all in beekeeping, people. Yeah. All right, we got to unfold it. That's why we wear the suit. Yeah, that's why <laughs> these suits is on. That looks like nail brood. Do not try this without proper supervision. You hear me? Who's the supervisor? It ain't me. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear me? I heard you. All male brood, you say? Well, okay. look at the cells. I need size. a knife. I got one in my pocket, but I ain't wanting all this honey in my pocket. <laughs> the attractive bears. You know the bears don't actually go after the honey? I think it's the, the brood, right? That's what yeah. they say. I've heard that. Well, and I knew my knife back. Well, you don't need to get in such a big hurry. I, I'm, I got... I'm, tri I'm trimming. Okay, you want to <laughs> hold this? Well, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Well, yeah. watch her. I'm one. fine. I'm not going to move. I'm fine. So you and two of them bees have chewed them rubber bands in too. All right, now just flip in. Yes, ma'am. See all the honey in this frame. Uh, maybe, hopefully, you can see it. Look at the camera here. And I had all those honey sprayed too. This thing is dripping honey. Well, regardless of the usefulness of this hive, we still have to cut all the comb out so bees yep. don't return to this spot. So, yep. that's what we're going to do: take all this comb out, make sure the bees don't have a pleasant place to return to, because obviously we can't get all of the bees. Take care. Still he's dumping in that hive. Over here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, he's coming with bees. Oh, he's going to dump it?
you see any fruit? Not yet. No more. see how heavy with honey this comb is it's just dripping out of there it's not none of its cap so it's not sealed in I want to lick my fingers so bad all right so the plan now they put up a frame with the brood on it and hopefully any remaining bees that we didn't get in the vacuum are all going to cluster up. You can see them starting to cluster up above it right there. So once they've kind of settled and clustered, we'll hit them with the vacuum again. Try to get as many of these bees as we can. Oh, no. All right, guys, I can't resist. Mmm, wall honey. That's delicious. Wow. Mmm. Right. So all our bees are in the bee vac. A good percentage of them anyway. Does that thing just open up at the bottom, Doc? When you pull that slide out? Mm -hmm. Okay. See all the bees vacuumed up quite a few. Let's 
hitting them with smoke at the top to try to make them retreat down into that bottom box where we want them all to stay. <coughs> smoke me too. <laughs> up in the box all right we're pretty well done I'm just gonna vacuum up this last little cluster of bees and they got them all packed up in the truck yeah. the other the other spots were just unreachable but this is this is how I'm getting paid I'm taking home some of this honeycomb it might not last the trip home I'm gonna be a sticky man all right, y'all, I'm back at the farm after doing the cutouts today. We actually did two, one out of a chimney, and I'll make a separate video on that. But really appreciate Don and Dean Britt for teaching me all about doing cutouts and all the knowledge they imparted along the way. It was interesting to learn about the laying workers and how problematic that can be. But uh, if you guys have a hive taking up residency in your house, you know, the biggest favor you can do the bees is to call a beekeeper instead of a pest exterminator because the bees are struggling. They are responsible for the pollination of something like 70% of the crops we eat. And, you know, they're in danger because of all the chemicals we use and things like that in our standard agricultural practices. So, the way you can help the bees if you're not a beekeeper is if you do have a hive take up residence, call a beekeeper and let them do a cutout or a removal for you instead of just spraying them and killing them. This is Brett with Good Hope Equestrian and Regenerative Farm signing off. You guys take care. See you soon. Subscribe if you enjoy the bee content.